What is up YouTube, this is Vault here and welcome back to another new Yu-Gi-Oh opening. Maximum Gold is one of the most revolutionary Yu-Gi-Oh sets introduced recently. And we are opening up an entire display box on the channel for you guys today. There are five boxes in each display and there are four packs in each box, which totals up to 20 packs containing some of the most amazing reprints. But first of all, I would like to kindly ask you guys to subscribe to the Evolve channel and turn on that notification bell to not miss out on any new Yu-Gi-Oh! product openings. Also, if you guys are looking to get some singles from this set, be sure to visit 401games.ca and use the 10% discount code off right here. Links will be included under the description box down below. Cards that I'm really hoping to get from this set are definitely at least one of the either Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Black Dragon, or even all three of them. There are also various alternative art cards that we would like to get including Appaloosa, Alistair the Invoker, Draw and Lockbird, Phantasme, and Elemental Hero Straddles. Here are just some of them as there are a couple more to see if we get a chance to pull them as well. So be sure to give the videos a thumbs up as it greatly helps the channel. For our very first pack of the day, we're starting off with Scrap Recycler, Go Go Gigas, Solemn Judgment, which is our very first premium gold rare right here, Madolche Knights, Infernity Mirage, which is also another premium gold rare, Preparation of Rites, and a Mecha Phantom Beast Blue Impala. So each pack contains 7 cards, with 5 of them being gold letter rares, which is basically the same color as our usual ultra rare, without the holographic part in it. Although this is such a simple idea, the execution and result are actually very nice. The other two cards are known as the premium gold rares, which Konami has completely revamped gold rares this year, unlike anything you guys have ever seen before. Just take a good look at the shininess of these cards. The quality is top notch with an embossment of molten gold around the borders, and the outlines of the artwork as well. Here are some examples of the older gold rare cards from the previous sets in the past. You can see how drastic the difference is compared to the new premium gold rares. The entire card is also laminated with an extra layer of gloss. This is truly remarkable and I can't wait to go through the rest of them. For our second pack, we have here a Called by the Grave and already our premium gold rare Parlor Dragon Maid Transcode Talker Condemned Witch, Sky Striker Ace Kagari, which is also an alternative art, Dark Lord Rebellion, and Dark Lord Nastin. The alternative art of Sky Striker Ace Kagari in premium gold looks incredibly gorgeous. The color combinations of blue and gold work so well together, making this card feel genuinely high end. Next up, for our premium gold rares from this pack, we have Martial Metal Marcher and Reinforcement of the Army, which both cards are quite commonly used for the most popular decks within this format and today's game. For our fourth pack, we have here a Coast Soldier Wolf Bark, 
Mech Knight of the Morning Star, Borosaur Dragon in our premium gold rare. Very nice to see. Harpy's Pet Phantasmo Dragon, Barrier Statue of Storm Winds, and a Nibiru the Primal Being, and ending off with DD Warrior Lady. This is Nibiru the Primal Being's very first reprint ever since the 2019 Megatons, and we have them both here side by side. You can just tell how much the premium gold rare pops out when comparing to the Prismatic Secret Rare. Next, we got one of my personal favorite cards, the Alternative Art for Borosword Dragon. Definitely an excellent card with its new pose. So the question of the day will be which artwork do you guys usually prefer? The original or the new alternatives? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Here we have Infinite Impermanence and Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. I am really glad that Imperm was included for this set as the price of this card never goes down. After multiple reprints over and over again, hopefully this time it will bring it even lower. Keep up the fantastic reprints coming Konami because these cards definitely needed them. This pack right here, we have Mecha Phantom Beast Dracusak, Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordsman, Herald of the Arc Light, Cyber Dragon Core, and Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess with a new alternative art right here. Planet Pathfinder and Tuning. Once again, here are the two different artwork cards together side by side. I personally prefer the original artwork for this one as it seems to be more action packed as Appaloosa is shooting out her arrow onto her opponents. However, I wonder why her bear is missing in the new art. Rumors said that her companion lost its life from battle within the lore. This is truly heartbreaking. Right here, we pulled an Ash Blossom along with Harpy's Feather Duster. Can't believe this card finally came off the ban list after so many years. It's also hard to imagine that this card is only considered decent for today's game, but definitely still a very good side deck card against back row heavy decks. In this pack, 
we got ourselves a Dragon's Mirror, Drowning Mirror Force, Cyber Dragon Infinity, Foolish Burial, Number 39 Utopia, House Dragon Maid, and Graffa. I really like the artwork of this card compared to the original. Once again, the alternative art was introduced from Dual Overload from before, however, there is so much more detail with the gold lining that emphasizes on the upper body and head. Next, I want to talk about one of my other favorite cards of all time, which is Graffa, Dragon Lord of the Dark World. Here is the original ultra rare one from the Gates of the Underworld structure deck. Honestly, you can barely see the difference from certain angles. At times, it even feels like that the gold letter rare looks far cleaner. Here we have the alternative art for Phantasme, the Fantastical Dragon. Another really good meta card that is very useful in many decks. I personally feel that the premium gold rare doesn't work as well with this card as it makes it seem a little bit too cartoon like. Moving on to our final box, we have yet to see any one of the blue eyes white dragon, dark magician or red eyes black dragon that I was hoping to get. I am quite a classic card enthusiast sometimes and I really want to get at least one of them. So let's keep our fingers crossed for the best luck here. As it comes down to our final pack of Destiny, we got ourselves Magical Meltdown, Number 87, Queen of the Night, Elemental Hero Stratos, Noble Knight Brothers, Domain of the True Monarchs, Super Polymerization, and Dark Lord Rebellion. I feel like that there is some sort of hero signal calling me right here as both Stratos and Super Polymerization are in the same pack for the very end. This Stratos artwork does look pretty amazing, while well, I guess it's time to give my hero deck a premium gold upgrade. So that sums up for our opening today guys, a quick notable mention, we got ourselves a full playset of Ash Blossoms here which I am more than happy to take. Unfortunately, we were not able to get any of the classic cards that I was hoping for, but other than that, we end up getting a wide variety of different premium gold rare cards. And not many of them were duplicates. It is also probably because this set contains a total of 162 cards, which is relatively large. Overall, Maximum Gold was a very fascinating set to open up here for all of you. Also, don't forget to check out the singles at 401games.ca and use my discount code for 10% off. If you guys enjoyed watching, be sure to like the video. If you guys already had, definitely subscribe and turn on that notification bell as it greatly motivates me to keep delivering these fantastic videos and tremendously helps support the channel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day great night wherever you are. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! opening videos and this is Vault signing 